Hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio again. This week, we're looking at the temptations of Jesus. We're looking from the Matthew text and ordering of those temptations. And yesterday I talked about the temptation to turn rocks into bread. If you haven't seen that, I urge you to go back and find it on YouTube, give it a look. Uh, but today I wanna to talk about the, in Matthew's ordering, the second temptation, and that's the temptation where Satan, the devil, takes Jesus, transports him, takes him along, paralambano is the Greek verb, it, it means to take with you. It's the same Greek verb used for Joseph taking Jesus uh, uh, into Egypt uh, and Mary, and, or Jesus taking his disciples with him. So, so Satan uh, uh, transports Jesus to the highest point or a high point on the, the temple, pinnacle of the temple, is the way a lot of people translate it in the holy city, that would be the temple in Jerusalem. <clears throat> now, Satan says to Jesus, he says, um, if you're the son of God, throw yourself down here. Just throw yourself down from here. Because Psalm 91 says that he will uh, bear you up. He will command his angels concerning you and, and their hands will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Do not let it go unnoticed. The devil is quoting scripture to Jesus to tempt him. Now, Jesus replies. And to understand the, the, the importance of Jesus' reply, I think we need to first hone in a little bit on the scripture that's being quoted by the devil. He's quoting Psalm 91. And Psalm 91 is a psalm of assurance to God's people. It's not a psalm that's dedicated specifically to the Messiah but it applies to you and me and all who put their trust in him. And it says that if you put your trust in the Lord and he is your refuge, that he will command his angels concerning you. And on their hands, they'll bear you up. They'll make sure that, that uh, you're not hurt. Now, this psalm itself poses some practical issues for a lot of people because what we define as hurt and what God defines as hurt may be very different things. Set that aside for a moment. The bottom line is, is we're being taught in that passage to trust God. But there's a difference between trusting God and testing God. It's one thing for you to do right, make right choices and live wisely. That's living by faith. And that is trusting God. Difference between that and just blindly doing as you choose, wondering or expecting or relying on God to show up. Two different things. Now, Satan quotes this scripture to Jesus and Jesus replies with a different scripture. And, uh, uh, you know, Jesus, it's kind of funny to, uh, to, for the, the devil to be quoting scripture to, in a sense, the author of scripture. But Jesus says to him, he says, again, it is written, you shall not put your Lord God to the test. And Jesus is quoting Deuteronomy 6.16, and it's a, a mosaic recount of that time in Exodus in the wilderness where the people were quarreling and fussing and whining and, and they tested God to see whether or not God could give them water. And uh, G Jesus uh, quotes this passage because of that distinction between relying on God, which the Psalm is talking about, and putting God to work for your own agenda which is what the devil was tempting Jesus to do. Okay, so where does this leave me today? Well, I got a lot to do today, and I want to do it in the strength and the power of the Lord, but I also want to do it relying upon the Lord. 
So I need to make sure that I'm doing it as part and parcel of me trying to do right before God. I don't think it's appropriate for me to say, God, I'm gonna trust you to get your agenda done today and I don't need to prepare and I don't need to try and I don't need to do anything because you're gonna show up and get the job done. No, I need to put forward my very best efforts today, knowing that he is going to empower me and trusting that he is going to take care of me and his agenda in the process. A little long today, sorry, but that's your video thought for the day.